And then what's uh well check this speaker, see what its setting is. Here. Yeah, not you got the number, you got the yeah, slide it up. That was the annual presentation, right? December 9th? No, that was a special meeting. I love it. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. Oh, because it was we didn't have a okay, plan. Get that. Was right. there? Well, we so, didn't have the annual presentation, but we didn't have minutes for the December meeting. We had no minutes for the December meeting because it was a there was no meeting. What did I just do? Uh, still have a microphone. So we still have the information called for bottom of this. Yeah. You must have that. Yeah, yeah, because I was there. Um, do you have the right. night special yeah. meeting? Yes. Okay. And that's awesome. Yep. We are having technical difficulties today. Wow. All right. Yeah, sorry. So uh any any adjustments? Okay, both uh both? Yes. Okay, we have a motion to accept. We have a second. Uh any discussion? Further discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? I'm abstaining. I haven't been well, so I haven't had a chance to read them. Okay, fair enough. And before we move on, because we're not dealing with the December special meeting, or excuse me, the December meeting where we uh, <clears throat> uh, did not meet, but accepted the report of the uh, consultants, we said we were going to ratify that report in January. I don't know whether ratification is uh, on the agenda or not, but maybe if it isn't, maybe we could just entertain it here um, and ratify the acceptance of the of the report that was made informally. Okay, do you want to take care of that under business or do you want to well, put it wherever you want? We just need to do it tonight, that's all. Okay, do you want to, do you want to do it now? Sure, I'll make a motion that we ratify the decision of the group assembled uh, at the uh, December meeting uh, for which um, was not an official meeting because of failure to post an agenda where we heard and accepted uh, the re written report and oral report of our consultants. Second. Okay, any, uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any, any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, so moved. Thank you. Um, all right. And uh, next on no guests tonight. Um, I would like to um, just in this session, uh, Mark, do you want to talk about uh, guests for next month yes um we're gonna have deb fisk and brian all who's in charge of marine patrol Deb fisk our rec director be available to discuss ideas from melmac for improving the season for next year good bad changes need to be made i know i've already talked to a few one suggestion is possibly moving forward with an online res res registration system we're looking at rec desk as a possibility for that um where you you could just go online put all your information but it wouldn't give you a valid um application it would be a pending application pending on inspection of the boat at the mm -hmm. launch and then we could change it to valid is that going to be brian as well or just it'd be um for what at the meeting brian and deb brian and deb well, you'd be able. It's just like um, no, all I read. Once it's in, they go to the right, and they they'd modify it. Yes. Okay. Um. So those are the examples of things to it's discuss. Required to board of selectmen to recommend guidelines so we can move forward quickly in January. And if we want to set this up, that no vote can go on the way to that online registration. Well, we say we, you have to do online, or you can do either way. 
You could do it either way, but the issue that came up to me was the um, marinas. There are 50 plus boats at one marina as an example. And we would almost have to require those people to either be on site when it's launched or to online registration before so the marina owner can or employee can launch the boat. We launched 50 plus boats this year without introduction. Gotcha. And this online registration wouldn't resolve or solve at least that issue. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was going to say, uh, yeah, it's not an easy. Yeah, yes. I, I got well, but we can we can talk. Yeah. Okay, so but yeah, um, fair enough. Um, but also, um, are there any overarch other overarching topics uh, that you want, that them you want for that, so that they can bring information to the meeting? Yeah, I mean. I know Deb is already looking at this, but you know, a whole overhaul of the wind patrol responsibilities and accountabilities and some sort of a policy booklet or guide so that they have direction in terms of what they are able to do and when what they're not able to do and when to seek help, et cetera. I think there has to be a whole uh, review and revision of current or lack of policy and guidelines. And, and will they give us like a like a a, a summary of you know la last year what what their issues yeah. were the big I, I'd like to know what their biggest issues were is that I mean how they what do we have we had something so along uh, along the lines of what uh, Mary was saying uh, I'd like to uh, have them uh, speak to the issue of allocation of manpower. Or person power uh, at the uh, the beach, and whether it's being recommended that there be two people in the a patrol boat or uh, what, because of the fact it, it did seem that we had extra staffing uh, last year. But if we may need the extra staffing if they're getting pushback. But, but my question was more. I mean, these are questions we're we're going to ask them, and we should we should be ready to have those questions for them. My question was, will they be able to give us a quick summary of what happened last year, how it went for them, what they thought was good? And I'd like to hear from them yes. to see, you know, what they thought was good, right. what they thought was bad, and, and what they need for help. You know what I mean? You know, we're, why they couldn't get certain things done or why they needed to do things certain ways. I think ways. that would be very valuable for yeah. them to start. Yeah, that's that what I'm saying. Okay. Okay, great. Is that, can you let them know that? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Um, all right. Anything else there? Nope. All right. Great. Um, audience of citizens, welcome. Uh, if you could all just please let us know your name and address, that would be great. My name is Bill Foshi, and my electric test is 52 as well. Thank you. Welcome. And John, great. Great. Frank Gifford, 16 years old. Great. Jesse Gifford, 16 years old. Great, welcome. Uh, do you have any uh, formal business that you'd like to bring to the board tonight? Any of you? I okay. I put in an application. Um, I have a stone wall. I have 330 feet of furniture. Yep. I have a stone wall that's at least 250 feet long. And I noticed at the beginning of the summer, Two stones and the, the stone wall is double, double wall. Mm -hmm. oh, Anyhow, I heard two stones were loose. And then when they lowered the lake down about a month ago, I realized that there were these three trees that were, you know, we built the stone new house, but that's 40 years ago. The trees have gotten bigger. And they basically are pushing the stone out. And in a few other places, because I cannot believe the amount of rain they got this summer. There is more water in my lawn right now than there is in front of the lake that is in front of my stone wall. There's no water. And in my lawn, you can put a canoe. And then what's happened is the water is running constantly. And uh, as a result, of undermine the stone wall on the inside, on the lawn side, where I have to fix some of the stuff. I have to, I have to 
Um, okay, so is this, is there anything to discuss here? Or? Well, um, Bob or Jim, do you have questions? Bob, I thought you had one question relative if we were going to do a subcommittee approval of this or if we needed a further from your email last night. Yeah, uh, Mary, I have no other questions. Okay. I just I just have a question. I, it, I think I, I have the answer, but um, from the pictures, Mary Mary walked it. I, I didn't. I was able to walk it, but I didn't review the pictures. And Mary and I talked. But um, is it you just doing the top course and maybe a few courses down, or do you are you taking it all the way down to the foundation? It, the, the walls are already three feet high in most places. Right. Right. By the trees, you really need to go to the bottom. Or you talk it three feet, right. maybe two or three feet wide. No, I understand. I just, yeah, I just want to know. Yeah, it's got to go to the bottom to do it right. Yeah, it's, it's now, actually heaved out. Right, the, the tree is actually in the middle of your wall. You know what I mean? So so when you redo it, are you going to try to go around the tree? Yeah, we're going to go around it. So, so you're going to come out into the lake. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe a half a foot. Maybe. Yeah. Well, you're gonna go the thickness of the of the wall. Yeah. It's right. It's right around it now. Just, yeah. No, it's not that we have an issue with it because okay. it's got to be done. We just want to understand how it's being done. That's all. They're gonna and, and if, the trees. They're gonna do. They're gonna make the wall a little bit more wide so the tree right. can grow for another forty years. Right. Years so, so the, the only question that we would we, we want to know is if you're gonna come into the lake there. And you're going to go all the way down to the bottom. Like, what are you going to do for the bottom in the lake bed where you're doing it? Are you going to put a footing down there? Are you going to dig out the lake? Yeah, lake? You could move some of it. It's all snow. Yeah. Oh, no, no, but it's, it's, it's mud here too. Yeah. Mud yeah. So you're, you're going to scrape up some of the, the top and layer of dirt as well. Be and, be and then and then and come up. But but just around just in the areas around those those trees. And a few other spots where the water is eroded the wall. Right. Okay, and, and those will be kept straight. You know, yeah. where the road of the wall, you're not going to come out into the lake for that. No, it should be the same yeah. exactly. The only place we would actually come out at all is to go around, it's the, around the trees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Put any drainage in out into the lake? I can't put any drainage. There's drainage there. Okay. Well, it's a, it's a dry laid, it's a dry laid wall, right? Pardon? It's a dry laid wall. No, it's all concrete. Oh, oh it's mortar? Well, it's okay. Not, it, you can't have a dry wood wall because it wouldn't work. Okay. It's the water. We, we got lucky. We bought this property in December of 80. And we had to, we built, there was a lot of buildings on this property. Nine cottages, two houses, a five-car garage, and black pipes going between the awesome. building, which tells me trouble. So I got a B9 bulldozer in there for six months. They cleaned it out. And that's where I started. But I got lucky. They lowered the dam late that summer to repair the dam. And that's the way they go for so long. Okay. Cool. 40 years ago. Okay. They, uh, we, we, we have a question. Yep. Go ahead, Henry. Um, undoubtedly, from what I heard, uh, the tree roots are in the lake underneath whatever riffraff stone that's on top of it. So when you take the wall down and you dig down a bit to create a footing, you're gonna run into tree roots. Uh, so they should try to preserve the anchoring of the tree and not damage uh, too many roots. We'll be very careful. 
I mean, I take good care of this property. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And Henry, I concur. And the only other option was to remove the tree. And I don't think we want that. Because no, no, we'd rather have the roots. Exactly. Yeah. The roots hold everything together. Yep. The water the front is right up coming through the lawn. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. If the question is answered, the subcommittee was ready to recommend to the board of selectmen approval mm -hmm. uh, of these wall openers, okay. not the internal walls. Mm -hmm. Right. Small sections, yeah. small sections. Okay. I tell about she said about the fifty-five. Yeah. Okay. A, a total of fifty-five feet. So, so would motion be required, or we'll just send a letter to the board as we normally do for. If it's an administrative approval and doesn't have any special exceptions, then it can just go. Okay. So we good. Good. The fact good. is something else that you might gather because yeah, I didn't even see any of this. When the trees are until the water is down. Yeah. And the only reason I paid attention to it is because of the stones that were loose at another time. Yeah. And the water started running. It's running and it's still running. Yeah. Right now, I, I, I unfortunately, I, I can only cut 40% of my water with a lot of water, 60% with a weed in books. It's that much fun. Yeah. But thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Nope. Okay. All set. Thanks. Happy New Year. Thanks. Happy New Year. Next time I see you, I. All right. Um, uh, and, oh. Do you want to do Clementino? Yeah, Clementino yeah. is uh, there as much as subcommittee approval. Okay. This poor guy lost half his dock uh, during some of the summer storms. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, so we just want to make sure that we have this recapture, but on top of the other dock, and the poles are gone. So the poles that extend out furthest into the lake will be replaced exactly where it was originally. Yeah. And that dock reposition. We're not even rebuilding the dock. We're just replacing yep. two poles and two middle poles that are around. Okay. Um, I visited it. Uh, I think the subcommittee is agreed. It's a dock repair. It could have been an emergency. Yes. So, okay. Uh, letter to the DOS. All right. Very good. Thank you. Um, uh, just to back it up a little bit, were there any special communications that we needed to review today? Uh, no. No? Okay. no. All right. Um, anything on the dam? Yeah. Yeah. So we only had one applicant. And uh, that would mean one bidder. One bidder. Yeah. Uh, company out of New York. Uh, I contacted the engineering firm, asked what they knew about the company. They said they're a small company, uh, been around a long time. They're all um, ex-Navy divers and um, obviously veteran-owned. And they mostly do work in New Jersey New York, uh, like Flushing, New York or something. But they're expanding in Connecticut. And he thinks a lot of the other bidders didn't bid because the job's too small. And okay. maybe because these guys are hungry, they they took it. But um, I need to review it with the board selectman and with Beth when she gets back from vacation. Make sure she's comfortable with only having one bidder. She wanted to put it back out and maybe try it for more bidders, but they're within budget. And so far, with my review of the qualifications of the vendor, they seem to be good. Was there a standard qualification? Uh... Yeah, submission they, within with the bid yeah they hit all the aspects they, of they what do. We okay got it i don't have with yeah them. that's fine well, do you remember what what the amount was to do the man just it was thirty thousand dollars thirty thousand five hundred something like that that was their bid that was their bid yeah to 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 well I'll, I'll, let me get this bulk exactly yeah. what it entails Okay. Know. Who has uh, who has a question? Oh, I'm sorry. Dan. Dan. What exactly is the name? Uh, he's actually going to get you. We're going to review this. We're going to review the scope uh, in a minute, and he'll 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 get you that. But you're we're we're on it. <laughs> I think it's the valve. Right. Yeah. Just the gate from the valve. So Ann, Ann had a question about just, you know, the general scope of the... Okay, so here's what we're buying. Uh, they're called Coastal Engineering. They're out of Greenwood Lake, New York. 
Um, they are pleased to submit the proposal to perform underwater confined space inspection repair service um, that will conform with all OSHA 29 CFR part 910 subpart T regulations, the removal and disposal of the fire supply intake pipe and replacing kind at the completion of the gate repair, the installation of a temporary bulkhead with a two inch bypass valve in the outer chamber, disassemble, clean, and inspect the 24 inch sluice gate and the apparatus. It'll involve a three man dive team with surface supply, confined space gear, all material equipment to perform the after, after mentioned task. The cost shall be a lump sum of 30,500. The work is estimated for five days. Rate includes equipment labor for eight hours, Monday through Friday between seven and 5 p.m. Any work in additional time not specified or included in this proposal may be performed at an additional cost. Um, mainly the, the challenge with this whole project is we need to replace the bushings. That's, that's for sure. They have to be replaced. What we don't know is once we remove the gate, what it's like behind the gate, how much repairs might have to go into the infrastructure behind the gate itself. And it's kind of like, as we see, we'll know what needs to be done once we get down there and open it all up. What, when is this plan to happen? We can't hear you, Henry. <laughs> when is this planned to happen? Um, as if, soon we accepted, as if we accepted this bid, when was it gonna take place? This winter? I would have met, I don't know exactly the date, Henry. Um, but the lake does not have to be down for it to happen. Correct, but we don't want it to be up either uh, because we're gonna lose control of our lake while this is being done. And if it's taken out and something needs to be done in back of it, and we have to let it down due to a hurricane or something else, we don't need to have that. It's better to have it down uh, six feet and be doing it in February, March, and April when it's coming back up where we have some leeway uh, for uh, the, the water to come in against the coffer dam and so forth and for extra time to make additional repairs if needed. Uh, ideally, it might start in uh, November 1st with the, with the pull down. So that we had- Henry, Henry I, I take your point and I think it's valid. And I'd like to build on that, Mark. We talked about amending that potentially for weir boards. So I looked into that as well. Um, and could you explain what weir boards are? <laughs> so as part of this whole process, we had to hire a diver to get more videos of what was involved. There were five potential bidders that looked at this project. They wanted to see underwater video before bidding it. We got them the underwater video, only one bid, but the diver who did the underwater video said a lot of the lakes that he's familiar with use weir boards in addition to a gate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the weir boards act, instead of us adjusting constantly when the water level of the lake goes up, the weir boards act to allow the overflow to immediately start um, if you want it to start before the spillway. Is it like a buoy? No, 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 it's, no it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a literally a board. board. Yeah. Where, where, and where would those boards go? Model contest. What the engineer yes. said, probably have to modify the casing and the weir boards would probably sit in mm -hmm. addition to the casing. It would have to be a modification. He said it would be an involved project. Yes, Nothing would. We're yeah. ready. Uh, well, I, I think we have to consider that uh, very Maybe. carefully because of the fact Weir boards take the water off the top. They don't take it off the bottom. And we've been looking for ways to get it off the bottom. Yeah. 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 And, well, and, and at finding a place to access weir boards. Yeah. So the, weir boards is a whole nother project yeah. to look at. Yeah. So right now, we've so got, we can't, we got to fix the gate so that it can yeah. go up and down in our yeah. lease. Yeah. Yeah. Down the, 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 the weir boards would either have to be a, a new thing over with some further excavation at the uh, at the spillway, or we'd have to build up that cement uh, block that's underneath now where the water actually goes up 
so that it comes all the way up to the surface. And you can have it it. Not not even, even, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought if it was easy yeah. to add to the project, it could be added. It can. It can. Yeah. yeah. Mark, yeah. How, how much under budget? Um, I I'd have to look into that. I thought we had fifty thousand put aside for this. So if, if we find more forty, but we're under budget, we're under. So so, so, so if we do find issues, we still have some money, for some money there. right? So yeah. I I'll look at that tomorrow. Exactly, this has been so long working on this. Like yeah, did, did, well, did, did they give an hourly? I'm sorry, no, go ahead. Did did they give an hourly rate for any additional time and material repairs? Oh, it must be over there. Okay. Yeah, I've had it. We clearly wanted this project to move along faster. Uh, it hasn't. I think there's re good reason to uh, determine, uh, you know, to re-examine the um, the report on the weaknesses and to determine whether it can wait till next October, uh, because we're in a position where we don't like the solution. Potentially, of having to uh, do this. Tomorrow. Oh, we do like the solution. Solution's fine. No, no, we don't. We don't like the. Solution. Well, why can't it be done sooner? If, if it might be. I might be able to give. Why can't it be done this winter or spring? Next week. Right. You know? If it could be done, but part of the rate builds. Right. That's what I'm. That thinking. would be ideal. Yes. I think what Henry is saying is we don't want to lose control. Oh, oh I, I agree about not doing it in the middle of summer, but yeah. but if right. we could, if we could do it in the spring or or this winter, and I, you know. I don't all we do is call them and check out what they're saying. Yeah. But if we, yeah. Well, and it's a it's a five day window plus any yeah. additional repairs, but that's why yeah. I asked if they if they submitted an hourly rate. Yeah, that's just a document loss. Yeah. Well, I don't just, have it well, it just may be something you want to get prior yeah. to the engaging. Yeah, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Underwater. Yeah, underwater. Yeah, yeah. No, right. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Are, are, are we complete with this? Anything else with the dam? Yeah. I just, I, I like Mark, 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 Mark. Hey, hey, Mark. Henry. Henry. I'm sorry. Henry's trying to talk, and I want to yeah. hold on. Henry. Yeah. Okay. I would I would <laughs> like to make a recommendation that we request the selectmen to. Uh, approve it and authorize this to start by February 1st and, and share with them the reasons why delay is of concern so that they recognize the importance of it. That's not well, a motion. That's a motion. I'll make that a motion. Well, but Mark well, is going to try to find out the time. I don't think you can really position it. Yeah. Completed to start. Yeah. yeah that That's a lot. Yeah. They haven't yeah. Been on it yet. But no, no, they did. They, they had one. Bid. Oh, they did bid. Yeah, but we haven't. They haven't awarded it. But I, I but they might, already bid the job, Mark. If you could just find out what their time is. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. soon could they start? And, and this might not even be an issue. What, what, it might right. take well, a month. Months, we want to ask them. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. We we want this to be a spring project, not a fall. Could we just come up with uh, oh, like the a winter project completed by or September winter? Yes. Yeah. Like the end of April or. Well, whenever we start rising the water, we, we start rising the water in February, depending on the weather. Yeah, but yeah. we still need that. Yeah. So when when would we? Could be anywhere from March fifteenth to. Yeah. And so Mark, yeah. could we know by our February meeting? Sure. I, I or all of January. Well, how about this? If it's if it's something that you think, if it's something that they're projecting, it's a concern that that they can't start until you know April, then. We need to revisit it. Okay. As soon hey, as hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. I'd say March first. Excuse me, Mike. There's Michael. Yeah, I, there's, I hear. The, okay, there's probably a time limit that their price is good for. You can't expect them to do work next December with the bid that they just gave in in, in January. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I, I hear it. Our goal either. So, 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 so yes. Okay. You're in, Bob. Yeah. So. Either way, um, so let's just say if they can't have it complete by March 1st, March 15th. March 15th. March 15th. 
So just as a general statement, I'm not right. making a motion, but if they okay. if they can't have it complete by March 15th, then we'd like to revisit it with them and support you in any way we okay. can to yeah. get I, that I, done. Mark, I don't think it's gonna be that big of an issue because I mean the, they did put the bid in and to, to Bob's point, yeah, they're not, not gonna they're not anticipating next year doing this work. Yeah. Not for the not for that kind of bid, otherwise they would clear yeah. it. These guys are gonna saying be, it's gonna go up 10% yeah, every these guys six gonna, months. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes. Moving on. Uh, anything else from the dam? Okay. Uh, do we need to adjust anything in the dam emergency plan? No, it's done. It um, it has all the upgrades and said. Did, did, did we ever get it out to everybody electronically? Yeah. Oh, I thought it, yeah. I thought that went out a long time. Okay. We it did. I just want to make sure everybody got it where they yeah. could open it. It was it was pretty detailed. Okay. And we also just had the dam inspected again before 2023 expired because we don't want to lose our endorsement with Kerma. And it has, we've gotten notification to Kerma that the newest dam inspection is complete because it has a two year requirement. So we're, we just need to actually physically get that inspection report to Kerma. So that's next on my agenda. That, that that's for insurance. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. Is that a specific month that has to be done by? Well, the inspection had to be done before 2023 ended, and we accomplished that. Yeah. I just need to get the inspection. Okay. Or you have it. Okay. It was done, but you don't have it. Right. So the engineer completed. Okay. okay. Moving on. Um, water quality. Uh, does anybody have any anything to report on water quality? I think we'll just include it. This is the water quality. Okay. And are we, I see a report here. To report. Right, says proposal. everything you've got me from TRC and all your yes. outputs. Well, we mm -hmm. I'd like to suggest okay. we adjust the amendment to talk about the TRC budget and the components of the TRC budget that are optional for stormwater. So got it. Then we get to stormwater when we get there. Okay. Fishing. At or eating. Okay. okay. I'm the fishing. I would like to ask whether it doesn't look like there will be ice fishing anytime soon, but have barrels been put there for the the bait to be put into and plans to do something other than where they were being dumped into the drain before? But I thought that drain didn't go anywhere. No, it goes right into the lake. I don't think it does. Yeah. You know where it it, it, it's it's right by it's the drywall. Yeah. I believe that that was correct. That Mark I think we looked into it last year, and it's a drywall, and that's why we picked well, it as a drain bucket. Yeah, I thought yeah. someone said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, well, Mary, why is the, the red coming out of the plate? <laughs> okay. Um, access safety and regulations. We'll just have a report on that next month. Mm -hmm. um, anything else? What was that, Mary? Marine control next month. Yes. Okay. Uh, watershed, watershed management plan. <clears throat> Any updates there? Mm -hmm. And. Storm water forwards. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I'd like to buckle in. <laughs> you want hand it up. Uh, well, I'd like to suggest a change in the agenda if the motion is required that we first review the TRC scope of work. Yep. <clears throat> which is a new business, and a component of that will be storm water. But I think we should probably look at the whole picture of TRCs suggestions from December in the annual presentation, and then focus on two options relative to stormwater management. So is a motion required to change the agenda? So that we go to TRC 
review first, and then we break down the two options specific to stormwater, mainly culverts, swales, et cetera. <clears throat> I don't think so. It is in the yeah. it is in the agenda. Yeah, it's yes. it's in the agenda, but yeah. we're just but shifting sure. around. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. then I would suggest the first thing we should pass out is to Mr. Mark Walter on January second, which is the proposal for annual women logic monitoring and consulting twenty twenty four. And I would ask us. That's what you emailed out. Yeah. Okay. If you haven't had a chance, I would cut to the chase and go to number four. Page four, which is the wow. cost and the options for uh, the actual work that they're recommending. Thank you. And uh, then we can get to. Thank you. Oh, she did it. Oh, this poor one. But. Oh, oh, oh. No, I can't see. Is it a uh, <laughs> I would also say the eight pages that follow the proposal should be reviewed by yeah. our legal and we shouldn't focus on. Okay. Huh. So let's focus on the four page presentation and not the eight oh. pages of terms and conditions. Nice file. Are you on the uh, attorney to have fun with the terms and conditions, assuming we accept the amounts of the proposal? So, um, if you haven't had a chance to look at it, there are essentially four tasks on page four that um, TRC is recommending. Two of the four are optional. Two are the typical things that we have done with TRC or any other limonologist prior to. So one in task number three, conduct recommended limonological procedures in ad hoc consulting and communication, uh, total $20,900, okay? Was our budget this year 21,000? Mm -hmm. Okay. I have to say that we need to add on approximately two to three thousand more dollars because that's the lab cost that TRC does not bill us for. The Phoenix lab bills us directly. So if you look and compare apples to apples, the twenty thousand nine hundred plus, and I just went on the high side, three thousand for lab analysis. Twenty-one thousand is going to twenty-three thousand nine hundred dollars. So, the, so the last year, this year we're spending about, or twenty twenty-three we spent about twenty-one thousand TRC plus labs. Next year we're spending twenty-three thousand nine hundred. So it's a plus. What's that? So that lab work, there was a separate charge on the lab. Cost. There's always been a separate situation. Right, but it was a monthly cost of $560. Yes. That's like $6,000. And that was plus. only times six field visits, six times 500. Okay, because it's six time. months. Yes, we do six field visits and then they send out the lab for the mail. Okay. So it's just to clarify. Well, yeah. yeah, and what's the 3300 in expenses under the uh, number line one? Um. That's something I would have to get more specificity from, but I will tell you that I did have a call in, uh, um, from them after the fifth visit saying that they would uh, pay for the sixth visit this year, but their combination of labor and expenses, which is probably getting voted and collected, I don't know what it is um, specifically, um, was not enough to cover the budget, so they gave it to us last. They did not give any add or change invoice to us. Um, so I asked yeah. them to ensure that this year that they would be paid for what we're asking for, which is six visits to do all of the analysis of the link that they typically do. Yeah, and, and I, if you I forget. Specificity. Well, I'm just uh, roughly, uh, how does this compare to their original proposal as far as a fixed, you know, lump sum? Uh, uh, years ago? Or yeah. The, uh, the original. The, the original, original, yeah. The 2023 proposal or the 2022? The original one. The original one was about 17000 Last year was about 19000 So they're up 23.9. It's a plus 13%. And about half of that, they did not give us any inflation costs in 2022. 
and 2023, they did add on all of their customers and inflation costs as a given year this year. The other 6% is um, they're making up for the labor and the expenses because it took more time than they anticipated for each deal visit. Well, I guess, no, go ahead. Um, I didn't mean to interrupt, Mike. Um, they had said, uh, Carl had said in December that we might save some uh, dollars by cutting off the nitrogen uh, testing and, and, and so forth, but uh, he didn't follow through on that. There, we could get uh, some savings. Now, most of that was lab cost, but it is also one last test or several last tests yeah. that they have to run in the field. So there, there could be a little uh, benefit from doing that. And it did seem like it might be a good idea to uh, maybe just cut that back to um, uh, one or two a year, just so we have nailed, so that's not current. I asked him it's to reduce it and not do the total phosphorus, to just do the general phosphorus that we spoke about in December. That should be built into this. I will double check with him. Well, it was, it was nitrogen, I thought, that he was going to uh, knock down because the nitrogen budget stays uh, the same uh, pretty much throughout history. My bad to say phosphorus, Henry. I asked him to reduce per what he had described in December. Okay, okay. But I will double check. Because it still does reference nitrogen here. So that's why. Yeah, I'm and, and it's. Well, I, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're talking nickels and dimes there. It's well, 21,000. Yes, so the, just, it's just a question. Is the, is yeah. the, is the rise in cost or pricing a reflection of a rise in scope or is it the same scope in the cost of that same scope <laughs> is now going up? Correct. It's an inflationary cost and it's the cost of the six, essentially the six field visits and the consulting time um, that Carl has had with myself and Mark. Typically, as liaison and as administrator, I know you picked up the phone and called them, and we get billed every time we have a chat with them. Do we right. add any new outflow? Excuse me? Does that include new outflows? Consulting <laughs> and communication? <laughs> water outflows. Drains. The stormwater. No, that's option two and option four. Um, that, that's why I wanted to talk generally the budget so that we understood. The typical thing they do every year is going from 21000 to 23900 There's an inflationary cost for two years. They did not give us inflation last year. And their expenses have gone up. And they did call me and gave us gratis the six field visit because they realized that their expenses were exceeding what they were doing. Were the consultation costs that they said they would not be charging us for? I don't recall that. Bill. There were there were so many that they were giving us under the original proposal. Remember when we yeah. did that too? Mm -hmm. uh, there were so many consultation costs that they were going to give us that were going to be charged for that. Over the last two years, each proposal has had consultation hours. So I don't know what the the original discussion was with you guys. But I can tell you the two proposals well, have always had consultation built in. I, I think what, what you're talking about is they were supposed to give us updates throughout the year. Correct. I think what Mary's saying is the that month. they were calling to ask questions right. and about this and they build them. Oh, proposals. that makes Yes, because built into the field visit is a monthly report yeah. that we have access to. So you're right. So that's you're right. The, that's, there. The that's included in the field visit cost. Okay. Okay, that's the time needed for labor and the development of the uh, the monthly, which is essentially a word document but, but, with Excel files. But Mary's, I guess, got billed like a, they, they acted like an attorney when Mary they and Mark to. called to ask questions and yes. to talk about things. They were charging them uh, hours. Uh, but that, but five, that was right. But that was not necessarily part of their. 
original proposal? Did they have that budget for that in their original proposal? There was an original proposal, and we, we actually characterize it by the number of hours times their hourly rate. Right. And their hourly right. rate was matched what the other uh, competitor, GEC, yeah. yeah. did. So, so do they treat the... <clears throat> Recommended limnologic, limnological yeah. procedures <laughs> yeah, as a lump sum, and then have the consulting and communication as a budget they bill against on an hourly basis. Correct. Okay. And the lump sum does include monthly and annual report. That's included. In yeah. Okay. And I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Henry. Question. Um, wasn't the annual report supposedly to come out in November and it came out in December this year? Correct. It's due next I would I would April. like to emphasize that that needs to happen and that we should have this budget in okay. December. Uh, Henry, and, Henry, take your mic, take your mic and just hold it up a little bit. No, I, the one. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Um, I would like to suggest that we remind them that we really want the annual report in November and that we should be getting the budget for next year in December so that there is more time for us to react to it and get it approved because we don't, if we decide we have to go out to bid again, we don't want to uh, have trouble with not having somebody lined up to start in May. Uh, so I, I do think we need to, I, I, I'm accepting of these numbers. I think that they uh, seem to be within the ballpark. And, and unfortunately we don't have the luxury of trying to do something else if we wanted to uh, because of the timing. Because if we started now and look for somebody else or, you know, tried to negotiate with them, uh, none of this would be getting started on time in the spring. So I, 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 I think we, you know, go along with the numbers. They're, they're uh, uh, within the scope of rain, reasonable, but require adherence to the contractual requirements of the annual report in November and a budget in December. And we should move on to the uh, uh, talk about whether we're going to be able to get the money to do the extras, because I think they're important. Yeah, Henry, two comments. Uh, I will confer with you moving forward that we can talk to TRC and say we have a different timeline based on our budget. I did not realize that based on my part-time, full-time job until um, after the annual presentation when I got the finance thing saying it had to be in January 10th. And I was like, well, we're behind the eight ball before I even picked up the phone and called Carl. So moving forward, we should. I think the second thing, just to give you a comparison numbers, and I hope we're not at a point where we want to consider someone else because I think TRC has been doing a, a bang up job for us. Agreed. Um, if I compare this to the original 20, oh, where are we now? 2022, when we looked at um, what used to be ecosystems, it's now GZ, whatever they are, because they were bought out by a huge company. Um, their proposal was over $30,000, and Apple's to Apple's comparison was $28,000. And two years later, we're being recommended $23,900 for the same exact types of things. So I think we're still at the low ball or the lower end of the scale. Let's not use low ball. Services we're at. <laughs> I said, well, let's not use low ball. Low, lower <laughs> end. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fair enough. Went back to ecosystem or whatever. Um, Portman's GZA. He's retired used to be. Yeah. We're going to see much higher than Okay. Do we feel comfortable? That this is the direction that we uh, want to head in. The uh, the two samp number two and number four. He said he wanted to do that once and then wouldn't have that the next year or something. Like yeah. That. Um, so yeah. this this is like the first time they're going to do the sediment and inflow. Correct. Um, 
You're absolutely correct. So we should put a little price right here if we don't do anything. Well, uh, yes, yes, or we or could be doing a different that? assessment yeah. if we find some, because we've already found one. No, okay. also keep in mind, that's in six, here, six, five or six samples. That's it. So three. No. No, we're going to get issues pending. What's that? We're going to get issues pending. Okay, this says oh, right. it's five, be. six, but yeah. five additional and the one. But, but my point, my, my point is that yeah. next year we might want to do five other ones because exactly. you know, the, you know, five is not a before we get the option. optional, I'd like to suggest a motion to accept point number one, do the annual recommended procedures, yeah, and two, ad hoc consulting and communication as a motion to put into the financial budget for the board. I think the optional is totally different. We have to have that discussion. One and three. You mean one and three? Uh, one and three. I'm sorry. One and three. So that I'll, means I'll second. I'll second, I'll second that motion. Mary, okay. I'll second that motion. Thank you. Okay. Any <laughs> any other? <laughs> so the motion is uh, what again? The motion is <laughs> to accept TRC's task number one and number three. I'll write it out for you, Phyllis, and it's okay. Uh, and the associated costs for the uh, annual budget. Um, to present the town for your financial work. Mary, that includes that includes the of uh, course okay. that Mary, that includes adding the three thousand dollars to it for the lab work too, right? Thank for you the, very much. DRC for this and Phoenix lab analysis. Okay. Right, so, so right now we're going to you're talking about one and three only. Yeah, just accept one and three, which is just the change annual to annual. One three in the lab work. Yeah, yeah, that's all the lab. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Henry. Because we're really looking to the for the board to put in a uh, selectman to put in about a twenty four thousand dollar budget for us. Correct. On that. Yeah. Yeah. So eighteen thousand three hundred plus twenty six hundred, mm -hmm. right? And I'll go through with Carl again, the lab analysis maybe here or not. <clears throat> it should be no more than three thousand dollars. Okay. And then the who is the lab again? Phoenix. 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 P H O and Five fifty two times six. Okay, so on the last page. Yeah, but I'll double check that number just well, so. right. But the, the budget we're asking for is the uh, 23.9. It's a little more than 23. 23.9, okay. Could be Got it, okay. All right, so that's that's the motion. We have a second, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? So moved. How do we sell it? Um, the board of selectmen, once you, once I present all the recommended budgets from the boards and commissions, they'll decide who they want to come in and talk in more detail. Okay. So between Mike and I, we were sending an email that we had to submit something to Jennifer by next January 10th. Yeah, and if you don't make the 10th, don't panic. Okay. It's just a goal. All right. Um, this process takes till May. Okay. I think so, a sense of urgency is probably a good thing. No, because now moving forward, there are two options that we have to consider. Would that be in addition to the annual or a different line item? How how would you well it would so you you'd be presenting a base budget of X right. that we just talked about. This this is what we need to do everything we've been doing okay. modified without nitrogen. Um if you want to go to uh option two and four two or four. Then that's that's the discussion you probably come into the board. The board's already going to approve what you've been doing because we get it. It makes sure. sense. It's it's added value, tremendous value to the history of all our data collecting. To go further, due to what you discovered, which was analyzing the phosphorus that's coming into the lake and wanting to identify more clearly where the phosphorus is coming in and what's causing it, is there E. coli, everything like that, that's going to take more money more sampling, yeah. that's what you'd have to talk to the board about and why it's important okay. and why it's worth X amount more dollars. So that's the next discussion. We go back to stormwater <laughs> and stormwater drainage. 
Um, Would you like to bring up some photos? Can I give you just a brief background <laughs> as to why we're here and why we're making these recommendations uh, based on the December? I know not everybody was here for the December annual presentation. Um, TRC, Carl Foster, who is the um, lead lake consultant, um, has identified that there is a significant increase in algae in our lake. And we had several cyanobacteria issues. And you could say it's too many storms, too many, we just have too much phosphorus all of a sudden entering the lake. Um, if you recall, back in 2022, he gave us a model that said that our average load in, in terms of the amount of phosphorus was about 202 kilograms per year. Our permissible load before we probably start seeing <laughs> issues is 240 kilograms per year. This is the analysis they did in 2022. They did not do it again in 2023 because of the cost of more money. We didn't do it last year. However, we know there's significantly more phosphorus based on the five small water drains we've been looking. One in particular, I'll get back to that one. We know because we are starting to see cyanobacteria and green filamentous algae in the lake at significant times throughout the season, the recreational season, that we were beyond 202 uh, kilograms, <clears throat> our average load per year. Um, the permissible load is 240, and Carl says we're somewhere between 202 and 240. It's rising. And the reason it's rising isn't, you know, there are several reasons there's rainwater, there's groundwater, but the most significant reason, based on their analysis in 2022, is stormwater. Stormwater is, was significant in terms of the phosphorus rise. Yeah. Jump to 2023. Uh, they were looking at five, I believe, stormwater drains that were being analyzed. One showed an incredibly significant amount of phosphorus that was well over any other in the lake. And that uh, led to a discussion of, are we monitoring the right stormwater drains? Do we know how many stormwater drains we have and how many should we be monitoring? And it led to um, the document that is in your hands in terms of um, Carl's suggestion that we go around the lake after the rains. We looked at the stormwater drains and we identified the major ones. In this document, there are 24 major stormwater drains, swales, or inlets into this lake because they're measuring the inlets from Butley Pond, the major contributor to our lake, from um, Ardell Road Dyke, probably the second major inlet, and from Camp Escalama, which has a significant inlet also. Then they're all the stormwater drains. So that's three. So there's 21 of the stormwater drains or swales. There are a couple of swales that drain this yes. lake really well. Thank so you. bottom line is, their recommendation is, Option number four is you should be probably not looking at five with this many storm drains. You should be looking at half of that, uh, half of the 24 that we have, which would be 12. Yeah. For their cost in this, which is a $3,700 plus $2,900 cost, they can do 10 pipes per day for 10 areas per day. Um, in terms of drainage. So their recommendation is go five to 10. Don't go to 12 because it'll be an extra field day and that'll be extra money every time they come out during the rain event to measure the phosphorus load and phosphorus level. They literally come out during the rain and they see it flowing, they measure the flow, they measure the phosphorus, et cetera, and they get an, an average. As an example, they did this <laughs> Five areas, and I'm, I'm remembering Hennequin, I'm remembering Upper Woodland, uh, I'm remembering Lake Road, which I'll get to, uh, and I think one on Erdoni and one on Route 87. Um, I don't have them in front of me, but if you refer to page, I think four of this report for Stormwater 7, they've been measuring this now for two years. This year, 
stormwater drain to the left of Upley Pond, Pond Inlet, which are rental homes, the high phosphorus rating was off the charts. If I remember, it was almost 79 kilograms. I mean, it was really off the charts. Everything else was pretty good of the, of the five that they assessed. And they only got three because two they said were dead. And we need to identify stormwater that really flows into the water. Um, I will tell you, Dover should the right away on Sleepy Hollow. He put in a whole new system, and water's gushing out of every stormwater I went to except this. Huh. Isn't that interesting? That's yeah. weird. But uh, just to, to say, if we went from five to ten, we might capture more in terms of how much phosphorus is in this lake and how much the sediment. Uh, if you're right, it should be done every five years, David. $2,300 is actually taking five different sediment um, spots and um, mixing them together and they come out with uh, what's the phosphorus load in the lake. So what's entering the lake is stormwater. What's in the lake is the sediment. And before they would recommend anything in terms of could we fix this with, say, uh, alimony. Not saying we're going there. Um, they would need to know how much is really in the way <clears throat> in the sediment to say we can solve the problem or not with certain solutions. So option two, sediment sampling, David, you're right, is an every five year project. Option four should be an annual project. So we can understand is phosphorus increasing or not. Mary, when do they say that the sediment in the lake can be measured? When is the best time for the sediment to be measured? Because um, what you're getting in is one thing. I, I would presume it's at the drive. At the drive. I so would they do a core in, in well, it, it, yes. age wise? The yes. Last and, five years, if it's a foot thick? Yep. And actually, <laughs> her dad in Portland, because Portland did some sediment sampling. Yeah. I'm they, just not sure what dates, and I didn't have time to go back and look at it. The sediment you might be able to compare it to what Portland had already seen. Yeah, but that, would, that wouldn't be something you need to do every year because correct. Of the, it's it's stationary, you know. That correct. I feel like the great right. icing. As long as you're doing yeah. five locations consistently, yeah. Yeah. and Portland yeah. did. Yeah. I just can't remember when his last one was. It was yeah. probably around 2015 because it was one of just going down. <laughs> He was explaining to me what it was all about. Yeah. So we're we're due to have the sediment sampling and to understand the phosphorus in the lake. We 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 really need to understand what's loading the lake. Um, I think it's quite concerning that two residential properties, eighty Lake Road, wasn't the farm, eighty Lake Road, and um, I think it's ten. Or domes, which is where the um, Anglers rental houses are, yeah. have significant harm. Carl speculates it could be sepsis. Mm -hmm. so, um, I... Yep, uh, go ahead, Henry. Um, I, I wanted to agree with uh, what Dane was saying about the sediment. It, it's really taking uh, stuff that has been deposited over years that can uh, be done at any time. Uh, yeah. Anytime during the during the year, uh, this particular proposal for ending that these additional drains be done between February and April, which well, I'm trying to. You know, let me but try changing my mic. Well, all right. Well, let's keep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. But so you, you're talking about the time of year, right? The bottom said it shouldn't matter. What yeah. Now, now we can't hear you. Um. No, I, I, I'd like to conceptually just say we knew this issue of stormwater drainage, and it is in our 1998. We went after the low hanging fruit and got nutrient allocation. We've done nothing with stormwater drainage. Yeah. We've done little with that. My my suggestion is it's time. Yeah. My suggestion and or motion is yeah. My suggestion or motion is it's time for us to make an investment in this lake 
yep. when we are still in a, a period where we don't have a critical load that's causing big issues. We're getting there. It could be five years, could be 10 years, could be next year. We don't know unless we start investing in a and making uh, the right moves for the analysis of stormwater and how much phosphorus is in the same. Yep. So okay. that's my motion or suggestion yep. um, that, that we accept these options and that we be prepared to discuss them with the board. Both, both yeah. the sediment and the Barry, is your option for both the sediment and the uh, yes? Okay, yes, very good. I'll and, second that. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you, no, Noreen. Hold on, Noreen. You had you had some comments. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. Now we can. Okay. Great. Thanks, Hey, um, I don't know. I mentioned it before in other meetings that at the top of Butler Hill, that uh, Eversource does an awful lot of heavy pesticide spraying through their high lights. That's at the top of the hill, which runs down into our lake. It runs into our lake. Pardon me? It runs into Utley Stream. Correct. Which is which is where the So you know we didn't have a a corporate problem there. The thing is that the drainage did come in They have been asked not to spray and we kill and they still do. So I think that's something we need to that's investigate how much they're doing. Yeah. Pardon me? Are you thank you, Noreen. There's a thank there's you, a question. Noreen. There's a question about yeah. what your yeah, Ian Dunnick may have a comment about that. Um, uh, it, I'm a steward of the Joshua Trust Fund. I'm up to step, and <clears throat> not because I just of that property, but because I'm in a flutter to that property. I always get a letter when they're coming through. And it says, if you have any questions, call us now. And I always call them. And I remind them that that is a nature preserve and that the other end is a horse farm and at their farm. And, and I tell them that they may not spread. We, you know, well, they, I realize you say they, they may not do that according to the end that they have. By whom? Kristen? By whom? Kristen? Who we call From the family. What family? That family. Okay. The top? From the top family. And all I can say is, if it happened one year, like if it happened two years ago, did it happen again this past year? <laughs> something something <laughs> worth investigating. I agree. Well, Noreen, it's worth investigating. It's certainly part of the issue. The phosphorus level that we measure from an ugly stream to date has been not significantly high, but it's been high. Excellent. But I think it's something worth looking into. So we should know. Okay. Ian, when, when you get the letters, that does it say that they're going to spread or they're going to be there in the next two weeks? Is that what it is? Or, and work on the work on the vegetation? No, uh, it says we'll be out there. It doesn't give you like time to right. it, and because if they're doing miles, not. Yeah. Or when they're getting towards Columbia, I found that. So it could be next week, it could be tomorrow, and it could be two months. Does that happen in the spring? So they are spring. So he doesn't, he doesn't know. know what to do. They're just doing something. No. I, and so I always speak up for St. Paul and out the hill and the cob farm. And Kristen did report that her blueberry had food or something. But don't forget that those blueberries are a handle for things for a chef. Oh. Well, that, that, and, that, that, 
and and I go out and yeah, yeah, yeah. When I see the frogs, when I see the men, um, thank you. I, I take a hike down in my thought. I want to yeah. what they would do. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes. It's part of our investigations to why. Yeah. So. Yeah. So the motion. Thank you. So, but thank you. And the next time you get one of those letters, uh, if you could maybe send it to Mark, who could, or or Jen, uh, who could send it to us, it would be super helpful. Um. So we have a motion. We have a second. We've had discussion. Do you want to refresh the motion? To so uh, the motion is that we include in the financial uh, budget education, yep, budget. Uh, the option uh, to set an sampling for uh, the year 2024 and an option for additional storm drain sampling to begin to assess the phosphorus load entering or in the lake uh, as an investment to understand how do we maintain the quality of our lake water. Okay. And there was and, one question. Yep. Yeah. Was there any additional lab costs for those options? Is that part of the. Um, that's a good question. I'll double check it. Okay. But, I'm sure there will be. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they have a budget associated, or they have an expense line associated with it. So that could, that could possibly be a. Um, okay. A Any question. Uh, yep. The their re report somewhere, and I was looking to try to find it, uh, had a time frame for doing this between February and April uh, this year. The inch rain. Uh, I don't know why they were suggesting it while during the springtime, other than maybe they were light. But I, if if it can't be done in the fall and it should be done in the spring, I'm wondering, is there a way that we can get, uh, and this is a question for Mark, can we get some money from some uh, from the general fund, from the selectmen in some fashion, so that this project could proceed uh this spring as as opposed to having to wait for the full budget process to run and get a result in may and you Mary, have it continues I, I made a mistake i'm sorry is that the most important words in english learning page two tabs two optional sediment sampling trc will use a grab sampler from three locations i thought it was five but i'll double check during the July monthly monitoring event. So they're suggesting it be during July. What, the additional storm drain sampling? Yeah, yeah. No, no, that, that they, the regular sampling was going to be then, but their additional storm drain sampling, no, I he, think he's they had. Saying, no, 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 but that, no, but they're, they're forecasting that that would be done in, fe in February through April. The, the first the sediment sampling, sampling the, instead of July. I understand that. That'd be in the July. Second, uh, what are they saying? The, <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about the four, and that's what he, I think yes, Henry was four. talking about. Mm -hmm. The I additional think. storm drain sampling would take it would be February through April. And Henry, what do you want it? That's what well, he wants. I want it. I want it then, but we won't have the money to do it unless we take it out of the current budget. budget. It's got to come out of the general, the general fund or something. Yeah. Well, actually, we. You know what? I think we do. I, we might. Uh, we, 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 may, we may have. We, have we may have a surplus. Postage. We haven't used yeah. supplies. Well, we used supplies. Might have. But yeah. there's still one more invoice to address. Okay. Well, right, but they're that's but they but they should have they that. they should be. We have a postage line and a supply line and oh. other lines that we could reallocate. Yeah. So let me yeah. let me get where we are exactly today. Okay. And, yeah, um, we might. The experts need to say when they need to do it. Yeah, I well, that, but that, that they you, did say it's, yeah, not, it's on the third page. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So can we conceptually approve the motion and then in the motion wording would be pending the availability of appropriate things to do February table level? Right. Well, what? Yeah. Well, I would I would take that back. We are we um. Aren't we really uh, saying we want to have this done on an annual basis anyway? So if we put it in 
the yes. budget line here, we're really talking about uh, the money that's going in here, theoretically being available to do it next spring uh, again, and that we'll use funds from our uh, surplus okay. for that for 2024. Good point. Yep. So the motion should read this should be done on an annual basis instead of an optional. Yeah. Well, the sediment one is every five years. Sediments every five years. Yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. inflow is every But the inflow has to be legal. Yeah. You have to yeah. say, which is our where they're coming from. Don't yep. make sense. It has to be every year. Okay. So I amend the motion to be an annual investment and then. We can put it in the finance, and for this year, if we can do it, we can find money and start it this year. Yep. Okay. Second on the amendment. Okay, we have a second on the amendment. Second. 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 Okay. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. Thank you. We can stop from there. Yeah. A question. Um, However, I'd like to pass back through Mary to uh, Carl on the sediment recommendation. They're going to take sediment from three areas on the lake and then mix them and analyze them as one. Uh, so if we're taking sediment from three areas from the deep end of the lake, mixing them together probably makes sense. If we're taking it from somewhere around up around 87 and then two other areas mixing them together doesn't make sense. And it would seem to me that it might be worthwhile to kind of have two sediment samples analyzed, one for the shallow zones of the lake and one for the deep zones of the lake. So I was just wanting to ask Mary to ask Carl uh, those kinds of questions. He may say it only matters in the deep end and we're going to take three samples there and that's fine. But I, I, I'd like to, in, in February, have a better sense of the science here. Understood, Henry. I think it's a valid question. Um, I'm trying to recall, I think you said three spots, one shallow, one medium, one deep, but I could be totally, and I thought you said five spots. So I'll double check on the number and deep versus down. Yeah. Um, okay. the, task written, the task written up here says they're all going to then be mixed together as one and analyzed, and that's the that's, that's the, typical. They are what he calls homogenized, um, and, and I remember Portland doing that. Okay. Okay. All right. At some point, if this is approved and we can get money this year, we need to select ten ounces, but that would be the next meeting. Okay. Well, I have. Um, one more question on that. There are some drains missing on that. I, 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 I understand, Henry, this was a- uh, uh, You did a yeoman's job, I will say. I, I really appreciate the work product on it, but there are a, a few missing from uh, the Lakeview true. Park area. You're, you're absolutely right, because I couldn't access Lakeview Park because I wasn't going on private property. I've already been chastised for doing that. <laughs> I'm only walking down the lake bed, except I walked on Mike Mazza's wall. You uh, did? Uh, oh, boy. She won the word. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll be happy I'm gonna, to help I'm you complete you, it. I'm going to give you uh, annual... Uh, Rights uh, to uh, to to walk on my property and uh, on the record, it's on the record. You can knock on Beth. She's downstairs in the office. All right. Um, okay. So we've kind of tackled budget review. Uh, we did gate repair. Um, we are we are running. You know out of time of our budgeted time, but uh, we could try to, you know, uh, just summarize the last few items here. Um, Electrofishing, was there anything else that we needed to discuss there? I haven't gotten anything. Okay. There's no report yet. Uh, I, I can reach out to the, the gentleman just to see, but I haven't. 
Yeah, yeah we'd understand. like to know what they uncovered. What was the outcome? Yeah. It would be nice. Yeah, I don't know how out there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mary, it's your busy season. If you want to pass that off to me or someone else, I'll follow up too. But we, yeah, we need to have a uh, report to look at. Thank you. I'll, yep. I'll, I'll send a quick email to Guy and copy it. And then if you want to give him a call. Okay, so, good. Awesome. Uh, message board, ice fishing, and bait disposal. Was that? We don't have any ice. So I don't know. We can ask yes. them next month. Okay. I'll, I'll go look. No, that was on the board last year. Just in Nebraska. Okay. Okay. Next month. Okay. Um, and we'll just uh, we'll just leave these items on on here um because they're kind of ongoing. Um. No update. Yeah. Okay. It's been yeah. Okay. And what what is this trifold handout? Yeah, that was that's that's what was going to happen after we did the ordinance. Yeah, yeah. So right. We're not, we're, we're not there so yet. That's going to stay there. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um. And then, yep. Uh. Well, I just want to put uh, this open. Uh. Did we ever get any resolution to Spazito? Spazito. Yeah, I talked to Andrew. We've had another site visit. Um. Both parties are still arguing about where the property lines are and where what vegetation should come and go. And I suggested to Andrew, I said, wetlands has a clear solution for you. I, you've got all your equipment down there. I said, work with your neighbor and build your own sluiceway and fix it. Um, work with wetlands. But what they want is wetland pools as it comes down, you know, fills up a pond and overflows, fills up a pond, overflows at a rock. That's what wetlands want? Yeah. And I, I gave um, pictures of this to Isabel out of the magazines I get, but they're a, a common, and they have a term for it, but you create stone waterfall. Right. Like pond, right. pond, 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 just to slow it down from ripping it light speed. Yeah, because it rips like, now. Right. They so cleared said, it out. I said, just Make a clear path, line it with a rock, and make it little dams all the way down. Get wetlands approval and just do it. Okay. Because the town can't get in there. That's the problem. The town with our equipment. I thought you had permission to. We have the right. If something is, if we, if our water is not leaving the road properly, this this the space is. Is the dispute is the private land? Yeah. Private yeah. Land well, of the, our if if you have the right, if the town has the right to uh, drain the water there and has the right of way to do that, that comes with a temporary right to uh, uh, be on the other land to maintain it because you do have the job of maintenance. Yeah. Well. It might be on that. Uh, is it a 10 foot right away that you have? Or, it's, yeah. it's not even crystal clear there. Yeah. It depends uh, on who you have. It's an old, old easement. It's an old easement. It's not defined. Yeah. Yeah. But e even if it's even if it's old and vague, a, a court would say you it came with the right to have access to reasonable equipment to maintain it because you have the duty to maintain. So, uh, you you, but if you wrecked up somebody's lawn and doing that, you'd have to also you fix their lawn. Me. You'd be Doctor Destructo. Yeah, but Mike's already got all the equipment. His whole lawn is ripped up. The equipment's sitting there. I recommend you just do it. Yeah. Well, okay. All right. So uh, just just, just yeah. Leave leave sure. yeah, leave everything there. It's not, totally it's, not it's not resolved. Um, and then I think we've. You've got everything else. You have a, a new yeah, business. So early, we had uh, earlier this uh, the late summer. We talked to Mark kind of offline, uh, offline about the um, as you're looking at the lake at the launch, the left side uh, next to Carmen's house. That side, right. uh, it was just total swamp all summer, I mean, and it's typically wet because it doesn't get sun. So Mark had gone out there with public works yeah and looked at it and said they could do something and i was just asking if we need to formalize that so that 
something. I think he did because it's a bigger project than it seems. Because I think he, he might have to do some excavation and fill it with gravel. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it becomes a swampy, muddy goo mm -hmm. in yeah. between. It's a retaining wall. wall. Yeah. It's like yeah. 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 Right. So the, between the retaining wall of the launch and Carmen's top, oh. yeah. it's you walk yeah. there to launch your boat. Yeah, right? I see that. And water runs the car on that route. No, I think the town the town owns it right to the bushes, which can't walk the second wall. So do you want it on new business or open business? Should be new business. New, should be new, 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 new business. I think for, Al Mac needs to request that the board of selectmen add that to a requirement for public works to fix that. They so I like it. Would only. I, it, I'm, it, I'm hesitant. No, but we, we, it's, 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 listen, it's off. just let's Grant, have it on the agenda. Yeah, let's listen. We'll, we'll, okay, so it's yeah. the boat launch area where it is, the, right? Yeah. It's, the, it's, it's the boat, it's the 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 west side of the boat right. launch right. area. Right. Yeah. Is yeah. So, where they want. so we'll we'll just have it as an open item and we'll discuss it next month. Uh and actually we'll yeah, so that's that sounds good. Um Anything else? Uh, I did just as a, a note. Uh, has anybody had any major geese sightings? Nope. Oh, yes. Yeah. Over on eighty-seven. Yeah. Sixty-six-zero. Beth said, "My wife said she saw on that that sort of fifties fifties modern house on the, yeah. the the north side of the dam." Yeah. That's, oh yeah, that's below ball. She, she so. said she she right. said they had to be a hundred. There had yeah. to be a hundred there to, yeah. Just okay. today. Yeah. yeah. He said he said it was just. He, she said they yeah. they were covering the lawn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This this is this is a problem uh, that's more than just our resident geese. This is the problem of environmental warming and the absence of ice on the lake. We, we also have diving ducks. We have uh, uh, three or four different species of diving ducks on the lake and they're you know, controlling our fishery, but they're also uh, depositing their phosphate. If right. we could get ice, we would get rid of many of them. So um, either way, I just, you know, something to uh, keep, you know, I, I'd like to say, let's keep a, a, a item under open business and just put geese monitoring because I mean, it's, it's, it's real. If we don't at least add a leg in the spring. Yes, we're going to we're gonna have a big problem. So let's put geese monitoring uh, under open business because it's, you know, it's never been closed out. Okay. I, I'd like to also add back where we were talking about water quality to say that the absence of ice and the presence of waterfowl has uh, degraded water quality uh, during this period of time. I, I, I would concur, and I think Carl can do that on the houses because I think he did that in 2026. As an example, if there were so many geese, how much and how much phosphorus. I think I think he gave us an equation for that. I'll go look, I'll look for that. I'm on a shred every six minutes. No. And it's not even a No, no, it no, it, it was he, he initially said 500, but then he came back and yeah. said it was much lower than that. It was like I want to say 30, 100, 150. <laughs> yeah, it's additive, but it's not the huge. It's stormwater drain is an issue, but, but it's added. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he he did come back with another number yeah. at one point. And I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Anything? Anything else? Anybody? Bueller. Uh. All right. I'll let you take a motion to uh, second. Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Uh, Any opposed? Yes. Yeah. Let's yeah. <laughs> All right. There's something else we can talk about. Yeah. All right. Hey, Mike.